As long as polio exists anywhere, there is a risk everywhere, including w within our polio-free region. The end game presented new challenges because of uh, countries feeling that they were polio free, therefore the job was finished. We need to be aware of what our risks are, where the risks are to each and every country, each and every district, in terms of the emergence of a vaccine derived polio virus or the possible importation of a vaccine-derived polio virus or, or wild polio virus into this region. The largest challenge in the region for containment is really to be able to reliably identify all of the specimens that are contained in laboratories uh, when there are literally tens of thousands of laboratories in this region. However, as evidenced by the reports that we are receiving, on the Commission, the progress has been tremendous uh, toward that goal. So for the U.S., it's been a combined effort. It's not only to identify facilities, but once we would identify them, ensure that they're handling the material appropriately. The first step is awareness that the risk is not over. Secondly, in order to be resilient, to be able to prevent that importation and spread of a virus, we need to have extremely high coverage rates, over 95% at the regional level and the country levels, and at least 80% coverage in every district. And then thirdly, we need to ensure that we have an ability to rapidly detect a polio virus should one occur, so that we can mount a strong response to preventing uh, spread of that virus should uh, one be identified. We've had to take a collaborative approach for how we are working with our facilities. And this, I think, has been a key to our program success, is that we've gone out and taken a lot of time to educate programs, educate facilities, educate the biosafety officers, as well as the institutional officials on the importance of containment. Polio has been present probably since humans walked the face of the earth. Certainly it's been recorded for thousands of years before the birth of Christ. This is an amazing achievement. And so we look forward, of course, to the eradication of wild polio virus type 1 in the near future and the control and eradication of all polio viruses that cause disease in humans.